Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I haven't done a video this week because I've been really not feeling well, but I am better today and super pumped. I just got a whole shipment of lingerie from Hollywood Lifestyles Lingerie Boutique. It's an online store and we're gonna be doing partnering and doing some cool stuff. So I wanted to show you what I got. They were more than generous and really helpful. Um, I did a little clip on my Instagram, but I'm doing this for the blog and I wanted to show you some of the pieces. So this is one of the outfits and it is, goes like this, beautiful pink um, lace type top. And I will be doing some images, um, my fantasy style images for Dirty Glamour Magazine. I'm super excited to use these pieces in. I hope that um, Hollywood uh, Lifestyles loves it. Um, it's my style. I love doing the fantasy images and I love transporting and creating these wild looks around the lingerie, around the women. And uh, here's the bottom. I love these cute bows. So this is super nice. And I got an array of sizes because my models are everything from extra small to 3X. So I got some mediums, larges, and a 1X uh, just to find some my models who will uh, put on the pieces and use it for the magazine. It's um, And the pieces I got are all kind of flexible. Like So if you're not sure of your size because you're ordering online, this is a really great way um, there's little things in the fabric and the details you can look for and that's what I look for when I buy pieces online for my shoots. So for example, I've got this next outfit and this one I got because the dresses are really great. If you're not sure what to buy for your boudoir session or your pinup session that's uh, lingerie inspired, you want to get pieces that are stretchy. You want to get pieces you can layer, and this is a dress. The dresses, the short baby dolls, the short little dresses are great because you can make them look, um, you can just make them, you can just do a lot with them. How do I explain it? I'll have to show you in a photo. I'm a photographer. I'm not a <laughs> announcer. Anyway, so this one I got because I love the retro vibe to it, and all these pieces are probably going to have like kind of a modern pinup look to them so um, that's my style that's what I kind of look for and so this is gonna be um, is gonna have like a very retro look it is actually a lot bigger than I thought it is a large um, and I like some of the lingerie to be a little bit bigger so that I can uh, move it around or do things but then some of it I like to fit really tight so that it accentuates the right parts and makes sense so I was actually surprised this is actually true to size so their large is a large Whereas sometimes when you order online, um, something that's a large will be really small because it's coming from a manufacturer. And um, nine times out of 10, their sizing is different. So it's good to know how the sizing fits for this lingerie boutique, as well as I'm gonna show you pictures, but I've got a ton of stuff to go through and show you. So that was two sets. This is another favorite. It's like Christmas. Anyway. So this one is a really cute baby doll and once again easy to wear for all sizes of women which I love and stretchy so you can get something smaller and then it fits your curves. You don't want the lingerie to be too big because what happens is is that it sags and you can't really hide lingerie. You could clip it for a photo but if you're actually going to wear it and you want to keep it. Um, you want it to fit you. And sometimes that's the challenge of shopping online. So that's one reason why I'm showing you how these fit, explaining, as well as I'm gonna do photos. But this piece is gorgeous. So this one is a medium, and it's still got a lot of room. It's n And it's got a lot of stretch, which I love. It's got a beautiful kind of retro um, floral pattern. So you can really make this modern, or you could give it a really cool pinup vibe. So I love this. This is going to be a great piece. And you could layer this, like put bottoms underneath and put a bra with it, a strapless. Um, or you could just wear without. It depends what you're using it for. For me, for the photos, I'll do all kinds of fun stuff. I'll put a strapless bra. I'll definitely put a bottom. Um, but you can wear as is at home or in the photo. Totally what you want. And here's a close-up picture. So that's a really beautiful, cute piece. Um... And the fabric's really nice. It's very soft, even though it's lace. Sometimes lace can be scratchy and it deters a lot of women from wearing lace lingerie. This is actually very soft, so it's not gonna be scratchy on the skin. It's actually gonna be really comfortable. And that's another thing I love about beautiful lingerie. 
So I'm a neat freak, so I'm putting everything back in this bag because I want to protect it and make sure it's perfect for the shoots. So here's another one. I love this color blue. Do a little close up. So I got this one in a medium too because I wasn't sure of the sizing and I find um, I have a real variety of models that I put stuff on. I shoot everyday women's, so I do all sizes. So this one's actually quite roomy. This is a medium. So it's got a lot of room to it. So this can be easily cinched up for the photo. Um, I love this lace top part with the satin ribbon. It's really beautiful and that color. So yeah, definitely. This could definitely fit all sizes. Um, and for my smaller models, I would pull it in for the photo. But it's got, I love this, so this is great too. So when you're buying your lingerie for a photo shoot for yourself, if you've never done one and you, you're curious, I would definitely, um, room is good. Like you don't want everything too tight, so you can move it around, you can shape it. At least I do in the photos and I guide the girls and I show them and I, as well as I'll sculpt it. So um, that's definitely very important is how the fabric fits. And this one's really great. Uh, the once again, the lace is super soft, so not scratchy, not not itchy at all. I love this sky blue color; it's very different. And that's a close up of the picture. Lots of room in this, so this is great if you're plus size. Um, if you're not feeling like super sexy and it's in your time of month, I know that's a big concern. A lot of my clients do not want to show their stomachs, um, and I get it. And so these baby dolls are. Perfect perfect for that but yet you still have this beautiful front and if you're worried about showing cleavage or at least making it look full there's all kinds of things you can do with the fabric as well as little enhancers so I'll sh maybe put together a video on that for another time but I just wanted to show you this gorgeous piece and thanks again to Hollywood Lifestyles Boutique for um, Hollywood Lifestyles Lingerie Boutique for sending us these gorgeous pieces I'm super excited it also comes with a bottom thong piece so that's super great. I just have to, ah, it's adjustable. There we go. Yay. Perfect. I actually had a client who did a session with me and she didn't know what a thong was. So I gave her one. I have extras on hand for my shoots. Um, when people forget to bring things, especially underwear, because sometimes they want to wear bottoms with some of the pieces. It's, it's, um, it works. So it was her first thong. So yay. Anyway. Too much info, TMI. Oh, and of course my floral one came with a thong too. Forgot to show those. And they're stretchy, so those fit. I mean, I'm not worried about those fitting. Um, and if I have uh, the models wear these, I give that to them because really I don't need to reuse it. It's like hygienic reasons. And that's also one thing I do in the boudoir and the pinup sessions. I always recommend you bring your own bottoms. If you don't have any or you forget because things happen, I always have some extras on hand for hygienic reasons. I never reuse. And um, they're so simple and easy to find and get. So, But let's show you some more gorgeous stuff. All right. So this is another piece. So here's the close-up. I love this one. This one really has, to me, a cabaret vibe. And I love, like, it just started triggering ideas for photo shoots, what I could do with the different people and the girls. And I love the little sleeve. This is a medium. And this has actually got a lot of room. So this is a nice-fitting medium. Um, I love the deep V. And if you notice, it's a lot like the baby doll dress. And I got that on purpose because I think they're perfect for pinup, very a modern retro pinup. So I can make you look modern. I can make you look pinup. We could do a blur where it's kind of in between. I mean, I, I love just the play on that. And I really wanted to show how you could take modern lingerie and make it look pinup without breaking a budget. The prices on these are fantastic. Plus, if you sign up to the website, you get 15% off. I don't think it gets better than that. So um, this is a really great way to have fun, do a session, but as well have pieces for yourself afterwards that you can wear and play with. Really beautiful. And on this one, it is a pants bottom or bodysuit bottom. It has the um, attachable garters. And I intentionally got it because I wanted to do something very burlesque, very pinup, and so I can't wait to shoot this one. It's got a beautiful deep V. And you could do all kinds of things with this. I mean, you can wear this as is. Um, you can wear this for fun. You could wear this under a dress. Um, you could also, for the photo, I might pair it with a bra top or with pasties. Um, 
just, you could do anything or you can wear it as it is. It's gorgeous. And the, once again, the lace is very soft and the quality of this is very nice. Everything's got a stretch to it. No snags, no pulls, which I like. There's nothing worse than having that and then you can't fix that in a photo, but it, more importantly, you, you don't really wanna wear that when it's all snagged up. So you wanna be careful with that. I also got matching nylons to wear with it. Um, so they have all colors. That was gorgeous. I was so tempted to get like rainbow colors because they have these to wear with the garters in every single color. And they don't have a seam at the back, but I didn't mind. Sometimes in a photo shoot, that is a nightmare because they twist. So I've always got to have my eye on the details. This way, these ones are seamless, but they go with the garters. They're stay-ups. I love it. They're sheer thigh highs. And it's one size fits most people. And I really haven't had a problem. I've had a lot of girls come in and they try on these um, one size fit alls and it works for everyone. And I shoot uh, extra small to plus size. So I've seen it all. Um, so this is great. Yay! I can't wait. Next time I'm going to try and get a bunch of different colors, uh, especially for the pinup. How fun is that? And just for those like theme kind of boudoir shoots where you want to do something crazy and fun, but it's still kind of elegant and classy. So I have all these ideas in my head and I'm telling you, but there's nothing better than showing you. So wait, we have more. There's more coming. So I'm going to put that away. Um... Here is a gorgeous one, and this one I got in a 1X. Um, I do, like I said, a lot of plus size models, and most women are, you know, not a size four. So I made sure I got something with a lot of room. And once again, this is quite roomy, so this will fit a lot of women who vary in the plus size category. And the reason why is it has an underwire, so it keeps the shape, which I love. But at the same time, it has flexibility and stretch in the front. The lace is soft once again. You've got a closure on the back, but that can stretch. And so you've got a lot of pull. And I don't want it to be huge on them. So for my plus size girls, this is gorgeous because I know I'll get shape. And this pattern is elongating because it's the lines are going down. And I like the straps. I always love an open neck for those girls because it shows more. I can sculpt the front, the bottom, the waist, especially in a photo. So I love that. And there's the back. And this comes once again in like X, I think extra small to like 3X and this is a 1X. So I hope that gives you a good idea. And there's the model wearing it. I love this piece, it's very classic. And when I look at it, I think very much like 1920s or even 40s kind of gangster look. Um, once again, dreaming about like that burlesque or that kind of film noir kind of scene. So I think that's going to be fun. And it does come with bottoms and they have a lace on them. Once again, soft, so it won't be irritating. And this is great. The thin thongs, if you don't know, are great because they don't make a lot of lines. Um, they're easy to maneuver and they look good under these baby dolls because there isn't tons of fabric which bulk up and if you're just wearing it at home and for fun it's actually comfortable so good to know little information so we're gonna put that one away super excited I've got someone in mind for that one if she goes for it it'll be fantastic all right and then I'm also going to show you got these kind of corset type um, bustier I believe they're under the category bustier on the website, but once again, it comes with a beautiful bottom. So soft lace, and this is, I believe, a size 34. So this is smaller for compared to the last piece. It has a beautiful lace kind of ribbon tie, and it's got an underwire and boning. And this isn't like corset, corset, like for training. This is for fashion and fun. So it's perfect for the photo shoots. It's perfect to wear around for fun. Um, costuming, beautiful adjustable straps that actually come off if you want them to. Yeah, they just slip out. And then this, um, I, I get tons of girls coming in with this kind of boning in the front and this kind of clips. And you always start at the middle so you don't pop them. And then click and then you work your way up and down. So I love this one. This is gonna be gorgeous. And this is a nice roomy small. It's got stretch to it. So like if you're in between, I'm in between a small and a medium myself, this is kind of nice because you want these to fit tight. You want them to be sculpted because if they're too big, they're too loose, they stick out. And if they're nice and fitted to your size, you get a nice shape. And 
also nice front cup which is actually lined so it's not completely see-through so you could actually pair this with uh, you could take the ends off for the the garters and pair this with like a pair of jeans or leggings and it would actually be really cool in a blazer you could actually wear this out which would be really fun so that's another I just love that and this oh, black lace I can use forever in my shoots. I mean, I can do so many things. And once again, making them modern and making them retro is just going to be great. Uh, you can see how the model's wearing it. And then she did add on the lingerie. The, I mean, I'm sorry, the, um, the, the nylons. So once again, the nylons that I got could be used for that. It'd be really fun to get some colored ones and do something different and add them to the black or the white. And that takes me to my next piece. So I've got the same piece, but I wanted to get it in white. And I have a surprise for you with one of the images. Um, I thought of this piece. This piece I got a little larger because I wasn't sure of the size. Oh no, I got it in a 34. So they're both 34. So this one feels a little larger, but it is, it is open a little bit. So when you clip them together, here, let me show you that first. The model's wearing it. So it has this beautiful ribbon back. The lace, once again, on all of these are extremely soft, not itchy and not coarse. So you could definitely wear this and it would be comfortable on the skin. And that's a big concern for a lot of women. I think they actually stay away from lace because they worry it's gonna be itchy, uncomfortable. This is stretchy, soft lace on all these pieces. So they're, they're really easy to wear. And this, once again, would be really cute with a blazer, a sweater, pinup style with the capri pants or you could even like put it with um you know a pinup skirt and then wear a little uh bolero top over it or little and just have it peeking out this is great i mean you can wear these pieces and because it is lined on the top and if you feel it's still see-through you can wear pasties you could wear a beige kind of bra if you were wearing something over top and it just had the ribbing and the lace peeking out it'd be really neat but i will show you more pictures of that and let me just button this up so that you can actually see. So once again, I just pop and clip. I usually start from the middle and it's got the garters. I do not, I don't think I have white lace garters. I think that's the one thing I forgot to get was white nylons to match, but you don't really need them in the shoot. I find with a lot of girls, they'll hold the garters. You can take them off. Like I said, you could pair it with something different. Like I have lots of tulle skirts. I love that kind of fantasy look because um, we're just having fun and playing. Like if you're wearing this at home, you could do the same, wear it with or without. There we go. I love that. And adjustable straps, once again. Super beautiful. This is great for the brides oh, with a veil. And just like even a sheer, like I was talking about a tulle skirt. This is fantastic. I can't wait to show you pictures of this. And then it's got the bottom with it. And I always recommend cutting the tag. Um, they're the worst to, to edit in photographs. And it's just easier. Nobody needs that tag. Um, once again, just a, a, a piece that comes with it. So you can wear as is. You could take these off, they're removable, or you could wear them with nylons. You could take this, um, this bodice and wear it with a top, if pinup style, I mean, if you've got a little edge. I don't know, it's just great. Um, and what else? Ooh, one last piece to show you. I felt like this piece was really elegant. I think you could wear this and, and it's a very elegant piece. It's not showing so much skin. And sometimes people think when you shoot boudoir, it's all about skin and TNA. And it's not. Sometimes it's just elegant and just sensual and it's beautiful. And I think this gown shows that. This is just a beautiful black satin gown. And that's the picture. I'm just going to take out all the packaging. So this, I mean, I can do so many things with this fantasy like. So this is great. And this is actually... This is a size medium and it's actually quite big. I thought it was gonna be a lot smaller because I, I always worry with online stuff. I always order up. This is actually quite big. I should have probably ordered a small or an extra small on this, but this will fit a ton of people. And for the shoots, it'll be good. You could also pair this with a strapless bra for a little more lift if you were doing a boudoir or a photo shoot. It could uh, act as a gown. Um, I'm just going to show you what it looks like long. It's quite long. So it's actually, yeah, I'm 5'3 and it actually passes my toes. So it's really pretty and long. I know you couldn't see anything there for a minute, but it's quite beautiful. It's satin all the way down. It's got a drop back. 
And then on some people that'll be fitted, on some people it'll be loose. This was actually a lot bigger than I expected, um, but we're gonna make it work. For the photo shoots, I can always pull in, clamp. I have little techniques and tools and things that we do. And for other people, it'll look great and they'll want it loose and drapey. Um, not everything has to be so tight, but at the same time, certain pieces want to be shaped so it pulls out your shape. And then I do things in the computer and camera. I teach you angles and I'll show you how to maneuver so that it looks natural. Um, yeah. So this is once again, it's got a satiny feel. It's not uh, uncomfortable or creepy or itchy or anything like that. It's soft. And that's what I like about all these pieces so far. So this one's got beautiful, lots of draping. So even on somebody who was maybe tinier, I would cinch this over the neck, drape it, and make it very drapey and flowy. So there's a lot of play that you can do. Things don't have to be the exact size. You can maneuver and manipulate. And even on my plus size, I, this I think could fit a plus size model for sure. There's that much room. And it could be very fitted where you could pull up the, the top and have the real cleavage showing and accentuate it. So there's so many looks with this. I hope you like it. So once again, it is a beautiful black satin gown. And of course for, you know, sleeping in, but I think it'd be great to just play and make it a piece you could wear. Um, you know, why not? It looks like it. And there's a beautiful red that this comes in too. I was so tempted to get the red. But I felt like, okay, black, I could do a lot of things, a lot of looks, a lot of fantasy stuff. I've got an idea in mind, of course, already for this one. So once again, super excited to show you that. So that is like 10 pieces already. So um, I just wanted to do this video to say thank you to Roy from Hollywood Lifestyles Lingerie Boutique. They are an online provider. You can get 15% off your first purchase if you're interested. But if anything, please go look, sign up to their mailing list. You'll get your discount code, hashtag live love sexy. And it is Hollywood Boutique Lifestyles. I'm going to put the link down below. Don't listen to me anymore. Now I'm babbling. I've talked too long. But anyway, thanks so much. And uh, I'm so glad you joined me. And get ready to see some gorgeous images. I'll have those coming up. Thank you.